I know you guys are excited to see the new truck. It's amazing, but the giveaway is going on right now. This helps fund the video, helps me purchase vehicles like this because YouTube doesn't pay anything anymore. Uh, so if you guys want to enter that giveaway, I have a Toyota Supra and a custom Bronco Big Bend, I believe it is, wrapped, all decked out by Street Speed 717. And all you have to do is go to the website, Inchain Designs, first link in the description, and buy any one of these products. They're probably all over my face and all over here because there's so many of them. We also have a new knife coming out. This is the ZR2 knife, my knife uh, that we designed over over at ISD. So make sure you guys enter that times five entries. You have two days left. If this video is more than two days old, then make sure you still check out the link because we have giveaways going on all the time at Inchain Design. My followers have won in the past. So I want you guys to win just by buying a single t-shirt, key tag, sticker, anything like that. Inchain Designs has it and they can hook you up with a brand new whip. Now onto the new truck. This channel officially changes forever. So I'm here with Kyle. He just drove me the whole way from uh, the amazing Super 8 in Boise out here. I guess this is the owner's Firebird yep. Trans Am with the hood graphics and everything. Thank you, sir. And uh, we got the new truck right over here. Yeah. All right, boys. Let me go get the keys real quick. It's Silverado ZR2 Glacier Blue. Finally a full-size frame. Yeah, I think this thing is going to be an animal off-road yeah a lot of people were saying they didn't like the bow tie here with the uh, the red inlay i think that looks awesome and i know it helps with airflow apparently there's some type of weird thing that chevy has going on here with airflow and cooling well of course all of my reveal footage is jacked up but uh we'll be able to bounce back to the dealership i was able to salvage some of the footage but here we are with the silverado zr2 6.2 liter engine a proper v8 even though it doesn't have the power output as a v6 twin turbo raptor which sucks you still have that classic all-american gm 6.2 liter v8 and on the interior here we have this massive screen finally chevy is getting with the program the interior is stepping up here beautiful two-tone seats these were incredibly comfortable on the trip that we're going to be getting back to uh yeah i had to drive this thing home 34 hours and i documented the entire trip now a few things I noticed with this truck on the way home that uh, I, it's a little concerning. I hope that uh, in the long term they kind of fix themselves or uh, I don't know. It, it was a little weird. What we gain with the Silverado ZR2, obviously your rear and front locker right here, that is the uh, the magnum opus for this vehicle. That's its claim to fame. And some might be wondering, why didn't you wait for your one that you ordered with Whitmore? Because I did have a truck with Whitmore. That one, unfortunately, is still not in yet. And that's in the sand dune metallic. So we're probably still gonna be taking delivery of uh, that truck because that one I think is spec'd a little bit better. I have like the rock sliders below, unlike this one. This one actually had, whenever I bought it, it was it's new, but it had like 560 miles on it. I don't know if it was like a demo or what. I feel like they have to disclose that with you. What's crazy is because of the situation that GM's in, and I'm sure a lot of other car companies, is this truck is fully loaded obviously because it's it's their big boy. It's the, it's the ZR2, it's the flagship for the year. This truck actually, it has heated seats, uh, or excuse me, heated steering wheel, um, and like, what is it, parking assist? and it's supposed to have like a, a inlay in here, like a, a cover for the interior of the wheel well, because it's supposed to cover all this junk and not make it look like a, a work truck because the fronts have it, but the rears don't. So the heated steering wheel does not work. Like if I go in here and turn this on, the heated steering wheel doesn't work. Let me see if I can do auxiliary. Uh, and like, so heated seats, so that won't, it, none of this will turn on unless the truck's on. But anyway, regardless, this button does not light up. And that was told with me at the dealership, uh, because they don't have the materials at the moment. So Chevy like builds these trucks incomplete. So as this truck sits, it has features on the window sticker that it doesn't actually have. The way that this goes is I guess the dealership or someone's going to call me and I'm gonna have to drive to either Whitmore or Turner Chevy around here and get those items installed at no cost. So I asked, do I get like a discount or something like that? And turns out you do, you do get a discount. It was like 50 bucks. And whenever you're spending $74,000 on a truck, uh, that those don't really matter. I would prefer just to have this working and just take a loan out on the 50 bucks. No tire mats right now or floor mats. Those are currently in the bed of the truck because uh, they just uh, didn't unbox them, I guess. But those are still factory sealed, believe it or not. I love it whenever dealerships, like I actually wish, I know that this isn't part of the uh, thing, but I, I'm sure you guys have seen, uh, there was a, was a 2001 Ram 2500 that they had that had 64 miles on it somehow with like the plastic over the seats. I wish that they still, they would have left it alone like that. And I, I'm sure it's, there's standard op is to like you get it 
ready for the customer. You don't want plastic seats on from the delivery company or coming straight from GM, but it'd be cool to have those things uh, because then it's it's like it's it's factory sealed. I deal a lot with like old retro video games and it'd be cool to have like the truck all factory get out. So that's why I don't take off screen protectors. I don't take off the tags. I leave all those on because it's still new, but loving like the little accents they have here. Chevy starting to get with the program. We got the black handles, a lot less chrome. I know I mentioned earlier how I liked uh, the front badge. I wish that this was blacked out or even color matched. That'd be pretty cool. And then you'd have the red inlay, tow hooks, and then little Easter eggs. But we're gonna make a whole video over this about all the little Easter eggs because Chevy isn't very creative whenever it comes to stuff like that. It seems like Ford and Ram, uh, especially Ford though, with their Bronco, all of the little Easter eggs that they have. Uh, with, and with this truck, they're starting to get used to that. So starting to get little Easter eggs and putting cool stuff here and there. And it's like, wow, that's pretty cool. There's a date here that's whenever Chevy was founded or something stupid like that. So we'll find that and be able to give you guys a true test of this truck. But overview, sorry, I was living out of this thing for three days. Again, you guys are gonna get to see all that here in a few minutes. Oh, here we go. There's some factory sealedness. I don't know what this is for, a little pull tab of some sort. Power uh, rear window, sunroof, not a panoramic, but still you get the sunroof. I don't know if any of them do come with a uh, panoramic, but we also have heated seats in the rear and plenty of room back here. Bose sound system and then the yellow stitching on the inside here, sort of like a highlighter. So uh, I've been doing some thinking about wraps coming up here. People are like, no, you're getting rid of the ZR2 with Colorado. Still have that for the time being. Don't know what I wanna do with that. Planning on doing a possible giveaway. So if you guys wanna enter that, let me know down below if I should do a giveaway on my own, not with InShane Designs, just on my own, a little giveaway. You guys will buy a poster or something like that and we get to enter to win this because I don't know how, like it's gonna be difficult to sell it because it's overly modified and trade and value, a dealership is just gonna wanna return it to stock. Can't really do that because uh, we cut the fender flares back behind her. Even though these are like sort of factory GM parts, uh, still it's heavily modified in that sense. People were worried about me getting rid of the Colorado ZR2 because of the whole Karen situation. It's funny because I was uploading all these Karen videos and people were like, we're sick of the Karen content, that's all your channel is. And now I haven't uploaded a Karen video in a while. Now that's what people want. Not, I'm not saying you are, but ha people have said that, that they want the Karen content back. And uh, this is sort of like the Karen DLC, the downloadable content with the Silverado ZR2 because this machine is getting wrapped. Even though I like the glacier blue definitely gonna be wrapping this truck and something not obnoxious but definitely cool and enough to make her upset so the silverado zr2 we're gonna be testing her out actually today not in this video but today we're gonna be taking her out doing some off-roading versus mike's ram trx so i'm gonna flash you guys back to idaho and you guys get to see how i made the 30 it was actually over a 40 hour trip when all is said and done because i had to take a rest and sleep but we're gonna flash you back to idaho and then come back here enjoy oh here's the real test here, you got your cell phone. What, what type oh, of phone yeah. do you have? This is an iPhone Pro Max. Okay, so you got the big one. Does it charge it? Should. Sometimes it takes a little bit. There you oh, go. Oh, finally, because on my Colorado, I don't know what phone they expected you to fit in there. Maybe like a Nokia somehow. Whatever it was, it doesn't have the technology to uh, wirelessly charge. There's no way. This so, is like one of the biggest phones you can get. So. Yep, and it, and it works perfectly. I'm happy with this because it seems like the blue is a better pick. I, I was happy with the... Uh, sand dune metallic but i don't know on a big truck like this that's a lot of tan to make look good i was watching doug demiro's review of a zr2 soft open tailgate this is a massive tailgate you got the zr2 badging on the back of the bed there spray and bed liner as far as i know you got some hookups here yep you have an outlet back here so i can charge my phone in the bed of my truck and uh some lighting i think there's one or two other easter eggs i'm missing here i'm gonna have to watch doug demiro's video and then go over that uh in a future video for you guys yeah, this is going to be a long-term truck at least a year at minimum uh modifying it abusing it taking it out having good fun with it saying uh the santa chevy trail boss this is the real deal i believe it's the sensors in the rear or like beeps at you yeah Man, this is weird. All right, here, how do I get this out of park? I think I just press that. No, 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 I go like this, and then I can shift it back to drive. Such a cool shifter. And uh, we're gonna be headed over here to Walmart real quick because I'm gonna be living out of this truck for the next three days. I thought it'd be good. Bananas. Beef jerky. A little taste of home here. My wife likes plants, so I figure I'll get her one of these. You can go on the ride home with me. There's 2,299 miles away. Want to navigate there? Yes. 
Sure. I'm setting your destination to Pennsylvania, United States. This is gonna suck if it rains the whole way home. Just in case if anything happens though on this long trip, I literally brought my dash camera. So I'm gonna be hooking this up here. Uh, so I have coverage of the road. In case anything stupid happens. That would suck, but God forbid anything does happen. We're in Idaho, by the way. I guess we were in Oregon that whole time. But if anything does happen, I uh, gotta have it on film. In half a mile, keep left. Let's go. I am, uh, I'm hyped for this road trip. I'm sure that won't last, but right now I am in the mood to take this thing for a spin. Oh God. Phil stop number one, stopping at the Sinclair's, of course. This place is pretty cool. It's uh, what the, uh, I think the Toy Story gas station was based off of. And we're gonna see what this, uh, what the damage is. Not too much of a vlog while you're on the road. Wilson's doing good though. Wilson! Wilson! GoPro doesn't get the perspective on how huge these mountains are, but there's very little trees. I guess it's just the climate out here. But what I wouldn't give to be able to pop this thing in four wheel drive and just drive to the very top of that thing. On one of those ridges there, gorgeous mountains out here. We're in Utah. Strad man, what's up, brother? All right, I've never had Del Taco before. Let's get it. Classic chicken burrito. Is that what we want? This is an older one for sure. Thank you for chicken and taco. Can I make ready for you today? Yeah, can I get a uh, number three, please? Medium with a lemonade. Del Taco. Reminds me of that Blink 182 song. Thank you, miss. Thank you. Thank you. Back on the road. Why is it so fing hot in here? I would give. But I would give for my freaking car mount. In one Suction cup. Miles, Del Taco. See, there we go. I'm on a standstill. It falls over. Del Taco chicken burrito. This is going to be messy as hell. Mmm. Yep. It's like a McDonald's snack wrap. Pretty ass. Del Taco. French fries? I don't know. We've got to try the hot sauce. Probably going to give it like a 3 out of 10. 38 miles, 84 east. We're rolling, baby. number two. I don't even know how far through Wyoming we are, but not far enough. I guess, uh, I guess a bug must have splatted on the front camera. So that's nice. Anyway, right outside of Cheyenne, about probably four hours north of Denver. Get it in. Almost bedtime here. No, oh, no, it's not. We still got like three hours and 45 minutes. I'm going to try and clock out at Midnight, we're gonna see how far I can make it. May push it a little further, get a Red Bull. I don't know. Can you guys see all those red lights out there blinking? Those are all windmills, like those uh, wind turbines. That's crazy. I saw this once in Texas and it's like all over there. It's crazy. It's like 360 around me, or at least 180 in my field of vision. You have all wind turbines. Crazy. 844, we're rolling on the phone with the wife. Fill up number three, four, I can't remember. That should be the last one for uh, the evening. We're in Nebraska, by the way. And I can't remember, I'm sure I mentioned that, but uh, rolling good here. I'm digging this shifter, I'm starting to get the hang of it. You gotta press this little button here like a regular shifter and then just go down one time. In Nebraska, we're gonna be driving here for about another hour and a, some change, hour and a half. And um, gonna try and go to sleep then. That's probably the next update you'll see from me when it's bedtime. See you guys there. All right, folks, we're off of uh, I-80 here. What time is it? It's 103 local time. Where are we at? We're somewhere in Nebraska, I think. Yeah, we actually did pretty good. Look how far into Nebraska we made it. We don't got too much further to Omaha. The goal, I think, for tomorrow is to make it to, well, past, uh, I want to get through Iowa here and then maybe to like Chirac or Indiana or Ohio would be key because then you don't got too much further to go. But yeah, we're out here surrounded by the gang here. The Griswolds next to us, they're sleeping. About to make my bed. Got the new Walmart special pillow here. And 
and uh, the Snoopy blanket from home. Some people might be saying, Bobby, you're a YouTuber, you got that YouTube money, how come you're not staying in a hotel? Well, unfortunately, guys, uh, the YouTube money I'm making ain't a lot of YouTube money. And I just dropped $80,000 or $70,000, can't remember, on a truck. Um, plus the experience. This makes for good YouTube content, right? Sleeping in the back of my ZR2. Anyway, Night Wilson. See you guys in two seconds. Oh my god, it's cold. It is so cold in here. It's, uh, what time is it? 6.34 local time. How we doing, Wilson? Wilson's cold. I'm gonna fire the truck up and, uh, get rolling here. This drive can get boring at times, but front row seats to tractor trailer drag racing? I mean, you can't beat this entertainment. Can I please get a number five uh, medium? Can I have some ketchup, please? Yep, you sure can. Thank you. I wish McDonald's would bring back the uh, bagel, bacon, egg, and cheese sandwich. That was the best, but they still got their hash browns. And what is this, the McGriddle? Whatever has the uh, syrup in it, but it's pretty good. Cops with their stupid little radar gun. It's like, oh my God. I hate the government so much. Oh, you think we enjoy lifting weights? I don't know how I made it whenever I drove out to New Mexico because I didn't have podcasts back then. I didn't really even have music. So your mind goes to like some dark places during shit like that. Literally about to run into me. God damn woman. Got here, 991 miles left, 14 hours. It's about the drive it takes for me to get to my house, to my mom's place in Florida. Uh, so thinking if I just left Florida right now or my house to go down to Florida, could I do that right now in one sitting? I don't think so. So we're probably gonna have to stop at least one more time. It's a long ride, man, this is a long ride. Really getting to know this truck though, getting to know all the features, been playing with the display a little bit here, but those are for future videos. Uh, try and wrap this trip up here quickly. Des Moines, Iowa, headed to Chicago, Minneapolis, Kansas City, I guess those are all the cities that we would be allowed to take if we took this exit, which we're going to. First time at a come and go. All right, folks, we're going for the long haul tonight. We got the Jumbo uh, Dave's barbecue seeds right there. I normally go with the ranch, but we're switching it up. And two sugar-free Red Bulls. It's about to be some heat. Those are for later tonight, though. That's our uh, armory of weapons for around midnight whenever we start to get a little sleepy. I'm gonna try and push it through the whole night, folks. This is gonna suck. World's largest truck stop, Iowa. I should just stop there. It's pretty cool. Anyway, this is how the truck uh, drives itself. No hands on the wheel. Actually, I have hands on the wheel, they're just on the bottom for legal reasons. Look at that, it keeps you right in line. It's on cruise control, so it auto brakes with the semi truck in front of me, which is in the left lane for whatever reason, going below the speed limit right there, 69 and the 70. Some heat. Yeah, but look at that, it turns the wheel by itself. It's pretty sick. And then it yells at you. Look at this, she's reading. You guys see that? She's reading while she's driving. This woman is reading while she's driving, and this is what's holding up the left lane. Look at that. Oh, GoPros suck. Oh my lord. Iowa, what are you doing? Dinner time, folks. A little bit of an early dinner here. Culliver's, my mother-in-law's favorite. See uh, what all the hype's about. I had one, I had this before, but it was a long time ago. Uh, stopping her Culliver's. I don't even know what's good. I guess burgers, and I think they're desserts. Get your Culliver's, they're gonna make fresh for you today. Yeah, can I please get a uh, butter burger with cheese? Yeah, I don't know what you got here, butter burger? Look at that reflection. Oof, that blue is starting to grow on me, I like that. The big ZR2 badge, I don't know, maybe that'll grow on me too. And gotta get rid of the uh, 6.2 liter chrome badging on the cowl. Mm, I don't know about that. Blacked out would be all right, or if it had some like red accents around the side. Black badging with red accents would look great. That's actually what's sick about my uh, dad's GTO, the 68 GTO, is even back then they offered, it wasn't common because that wasn't like a known thing, everyone wanted chrome back then, but even then you could get a factory blackout badge set. So like it would come from the factory 
on your Pontiac GTO back in the 60s, all the badges blacked out. I feel like that's, I gotta really know so much that would be worth now to have OEM badging that was blacked out from the factory. Is that like to detect if there's a car next door? What? Like next to you, this? Yeah, yep. Oh, because like when I walked past, it like went off and I was like, oh, that's probably what Yeah, blind things. spot detector, man. Yeah, yeah, appreciate it. Thank you. I like this, man. Yeah, I just picked it up from Oregon. I'm driving home to Pennsylvania. You, you live in Pennsylvania, mm -hmm. man. I've yep. been there a few times, actually. Yep. Yeah, this is Chevy's new off road pickup truck. For real? Yep. Oh, yeah, she's nice. Yeah. Well, thanks, brother. You have a wonderful day. Appreciate man. it, man. Yeah, take it easy. I will. So if you're not like working out, doing cardio, and just sitting in a truck all day, that is the best thing for your arteries right there. Just good old fashioned American USDA beef or whatever the hell it's called, some cheese, onions. Eating this all while sitting in a $70,000 truck, I don't, I've never felt more free. Chevy using their heads here. Look at that perfect little slot for the ketchup dipper right there. I love this truck, man. This is a good cross country trip truck. Perfect for Cullivers. Fit all your needs in there, your Red Bulls, cases of water. This truck is trashed. I'm gonna have to clean it out the second I get home. 720 miles. Indiana coming in clutch with that grade A infrastructure. A lot of that looks like just surface rust. There's others where I'm pretty sure I can put my fist right through it. Interstate uh, 80, we're at I-80 here. Exit, we're near exit 132. I'm sure some of you guys, some of you guys may live right down there. That's probably a subscriber right down there with an old Ford pickup. One of three of the last states we got to travel through, Indiana. Eight more hours. Eight and a half more hours, actually. This is potentially, uh, this definitely isn't our last fuel stop. If we had a fuel efficient vehicle, this might be our last fuel stop. Sunoco, halfway through Indiana, a little west of Detroit, it looks like on the map. We got this semi truck backing out of the easy pass spot. We're all jammed up here. People don't know how to make change, I guess. Oh my God, that would suck doing that. I'd be so scared someone slam into the back of me going like 100 miles an hour. Damn. How is he not like, he's gonna back the whole way up so he can get into these credit lanes. I think we're in Ohio. Last state before Pennsylvania. Still seven hours to go, that's insane. Well boys, I missed the uh, welcome to Pennsylvania sign. You can see right there, Pennsylvania Turnpike. We did it. Oh my God, for this, your guys' journey was like, I don't even know how this is gonna edit together. Probably just a, a few seconds, for God's sakes, a few minutes. Uh, for myself, over a 34 hour trip uh, in total. I would just point the camera, maybe you're not gonna be able to see anything. Uh, for me, this was almost a 40 hour road trip in total. So good to be back in Pennsylvania. We got the Silverado ZR2. Oh my God, Harrisburg exit, low on fuel, 20 minutes there. I've never been so happy before to just see the city of Harrisburg through all the bug guts on the windshield. We're home. Oh my God, we're home. Cannot wait to get back with my wife and puppy dogs and take a shower here and go to bed in like the next 15 minutes. Thank God. Home, James. ZR2, meet ZR2. That's a wrap. It's eight o'clock in the morning. I got like four hours of sleep, three hours of sleep here. So feeling good. That was enough to just get by. Wilson's okay. Take him inside for the wife. Wilson made it. Front bumper definitely looks like we traveled cross country. Sorry about this video just being a little weird, guys. It's tough to make these uh, entertaining just because I've never done something like this before. But I can promise you we're hitting the ground running. Like we already have this thing scheduled to go to Roush as it sits. So we're going to test it uh, as it is right now where it's just 100% factory, no damage, nothing like that. Uh, take it through its paces at Roush. Nothing crazy, like no black trails, but we're definitely going to send it. Maybe a blue here and there, stuff where it starts to teeter, rock crawl, stuff like that. Um, and we have a ton of parts on the way. Silverado ZR2 is back home. I didn't think about this until 
I was on the drive home. It's where am I going to put it? I have no space for these two vehicles. So uh, going to have to figure that out. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to see more content like this or follow along with the Silverado ZR2, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. Now, this isn't going to happen. Maybe you guys can make it happen. I don't know how if this is going to blow up or not. But if it gets at least, I was going to say 3,000, 4,000 likes, uh, I'll send the Silverado ZR2 stock. I don't know how good it's going to do, but we'll throw it on some black trails. See how it goes. Say Silverado ZR2 in the comments with an exclamation point if you guys are pumped for the Silverado ZR2 and you made it this far in the video. I can clean out the truck, make sure everything's back to normal because it's a pigsty in there. Follow me on Instagram, rfracing717. I'll see you guys next time.